Assalamu alaikum, sister. Thank you for writing to our live session. As I understand the situation, you and your husband have been married for 18 years. You recently found out that he contacted one of his ex friends um, that he used to like when he was young. As a result, they started an affair and he is cheating on you. You stated that you found text messages or chats um, confirming this because they exchanged words such as I love you and they talked intimately to each other. So there's no doubt in your mind what's going on. And in addition, when you confronted your husband and asked him to stop adultery, he stated that it's not adultery because you're truly in, he, him and this woman are truly in love and Allah has re reunited them after 22 years and that it's Allah's will. Well, first of all, sister, as we know, um, committing adultery is not Allah's will, right? They're both married and it's sinful. Um, somewhere in your husband's mind, he must realize this. And I'm not quite sure um, why it's, you know, fled his mind, you know. You may want to, you know, discuss the Quran with him and, and adultery and the penalties for adultery. Um, I'm not sure if they visited each other um, yet or not, but still, you know, it's haram and it's sinful and it's hurtful, right? I can imagine you're very hurt. Now, I understand that you don't want him to get punished by Allah and that's why you want to stop him from adultery. But each to our own, we are responsible for our own behaviors and we, we will stand in front of Allah alone right so you can't prevent your husband really from doing anything you can't force him to do anything he has to want to stop in his own heart he has to develop that love and fear of Allah to want to stop right so that's a separate issue what I'm concerned with from reading your reading your question my dear sister is what about you what how, what about you how are you Right? You've been with this man for a very long time. It's evident that you do love him. And I'm sure this is just, you know, hurting you so bad. And you also stated that he's violent. And you do not deserve to be hit. You do not deserve to be abused. You do not, you do not deserve to be cheated on. So with that said, sister, I would like you to think about yourself your own self-care, your own self-love, your own self-value, right? Allah does not want to see you being abused, being hurt, or being cheated on. And it appears maybe this has been going on for a while, but if your husband is not willing to stop abusing you and he's not willing to stop cheating, you need to think about other options, right? Maybe, you know, move in with a relative or get your own place. Um, but really, you need to get yourself out of harm's way, right? And violence is not a normal way of life, okay? Um, there's a lot, a lot of women who are being abused and um, violently attacked by their husbands, sadly. Uh, it's a global issue, right? And some sometimes it gets normalized like that's the thing to expect and to do but it's not it absolutely is not so sister i i beg you to please you know seek safety first if he's abusing you if he's still violent get out of the house um find you know a relative or a friend and stay with them and that way you can get your thoughts together more clearly and if he's violent to the point, you know, where you're fearing for your life at that moment, you know, please do call um, the police or call, you know, crisis services, you know, to intervene. Because um, your life is valuable, sister, and um, you don't deserve this. So, sister, please think about yourself in this situation, not your husband. Protect yourself. Leave the situation as there's violence and let let him 
work out whatever's going on with this woman. It's going to be between him and Allah in the end. You know what I'm saying? And if he repents and he decides, you know, that he wants to grow, you know, grow closer to Allah and he wants to save his marriage, you know, that's another story. But then again, you have the violence situation, right? It's like it's almost normalized and there's no way that you should ever put up a violence. So that would have to be another subject. But at any rate, sister, I kindly advise you to get counseling um, in, an, in your area on an ongoing basis and to please reach out to the domestic violence um, counseling centers there or call because um, I'm worried about your situation um, as far as, you know, your safety and, of course, your happiness. So please, sister, reevaluate and reevaluate in the light of your happiness, your safety, your health, and your future. We wish you the best.